history chapter 6 stone age stone tools so students today you are going to know about stone tools during stone age why man made tools and how man made tools so let us begin points to be discussed 6.1 6.1 means chapter 6.1 types and forms of tools according to the type of task 6.2 it means chapter 6.2 stone age tools let us see one point each at a time so the first point is 6.1 types and forms of tools according to the type of task so students what do you see above you see a jewel a shining jewel now the question is what will you do if you see an shiny object buried inside the ground option a you will scrap it out using your fingers option b you will use a stick or a twig twig means dry branch of a tree option c you will use a pointed stone option d you will use an iron rod to dig the shiny object out yes or no yes so what did you understand from this activity you understood that you need to choose the tool according to the demand of the task yes you need to choose the tool according to the need of the task you need to choose the tool according to the use of the task yes or no students yes apes like chimpanzee also used stones to break nuts and seeds they used sticks to break the ant hill they used dried twigs to stir the ant hill not only apes like chimpanzee even humans also have always used tools such as bones stones dried twigs and sticks now let us see how man learned to make tools there are four factors first one with a minute observation one minute he will observe the stone or whatever resources are available in the nature with what he is going to make the tool he will make a one minute observation second one with continuous observation he will go on looking at the object and he will think how to make a tool third one doing lot of experiments making the tool trying it if not done properly he will make another one still it is not working he will make another one then another then another like doing lot of ex experiments fourth one they had inborn imagination it means they have inborn talent they know how to make a tool all they need is to find the correct material available in the nature so what are the four factors let us see how man learnt to make tools first one with a minute observation second one with continuous observation third one doing lot of experiments fourth one they had inborn imagination with these facts human learnt to make tools they could sharpen rods bones sticks and stones into tools to carry out the task efficiently efficiently means easily humans also learned the tools can be given any desired shape of their choice now let us know about homo habilis homo habilis made stone tools they also made tools from bones twigs sticks stones etc today stone tools are still found bone tools are rarely found sticks or twigs decompose easily that is why tools made from sticks or twigs are not found even today 
so there are four factors that determine the choice of tools which are they first one availability of resources availability means whatever natural resources are available in the nature using that man can make tools second one minimal use of time and energy minimal means minimum the tool must be time consuming tool made must be energy consuming so minimal minimum use of time and energy next one maximum efficiency whatever tool is made it should be very easy to use it should be very easy to use it should be durable long lasting yes or no next one skill of handling tools with which acquire through practice whatever tool man has made it requires some practice to hold it to make use of that tool yes or no so for practice you, what you have to do you have to make that tool it should be properly where we should hold that tool properly in our hand yes or no it should be soft it should be light in weight yes or no when you when you are using it several times you will be able to use it properly yes or no so handling a tool requires lot of practice so these are the four factors that determine the choice of a tool what it is availability of resources minimal use of time and energy maximum efficiency means maximum easily to use maximum easy to handle skill of handling tools which acquire through practice whatever tools you are handling it need practice so now let us see tools made from stones and bones see here you can see a picture and on every picture there is number given let us read and look the picture as well tools made from stones and bones first one see number 1 on the left hand side a chopper made from a pebble second one a scraper third figure is a circular hammer stone fourth one a chopper made from a flake of stone fifth one a borer made from a bone sixth one an antler used as a pick so students i hope 6.1 is clear to you let us see 6.2 stone age tools definition of stone age tools the period from which mainly stone tools are found is called the stone age definition of stone age tools the period from which mainly stone tools are found is called the stone age stone age is divided into three groups or three periods first one old stone age second one middle stone age third one new stone age old stone age is also known as paleolithic age paleo means old lithos means stone so old stone age or paleolithic age second one middle stone age is also known as mesolithic age meso means middle so middle stone age or mesolithic age third one new stone age is also known as neolithic age neo means new so new stone age or neolithic age so let us see one point at a time so students i hope 6.1 is clear to you let us see 6.2 stone age tools definition of stone age tools the period from which mainly stone tools are found is called the stone age definition of stone age tools the period from which mainly stone tools are found is called the stone age stone age is divided into three groups or three periods first one old stone age second one middle stone age third one new stone age old stone age is also known as paleolithic age paleo means old lithos means stone so old stone age or 
Paleolithic age. Second one, Middle Stone Age is also known as Mesolithic Age. Meso means middle. So, Middle Stone Age or Mesolithic Age. Third one, New Stone Age is also known as Neolithic Age. Neo means new. So, New Stone Age or Neolithic Age. So, let us see one point at a time. First one, Old Stone Age or Paleolithic Age. In this, we will come across Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, Homo sapiens. So, let us begin. Homo habilis and Homo erectus belong to Old Stone Age. No doubt in this. They made tools using percussion technique. Which technique? Percussion technique. The name of the technique is percussion technique. Meaning of percussion technique. Beating or striking one large pebble against another to obtain flakes. Meaning of percussion technique. Beating or striking one large pebble against another to obtain flakes. Meaning of flakes very thin pieces. So, First tools made using this technique was very crude. Meaning of crude, one side of those tools had a sharp edge. Such tools are known as chopper. For example, you may have seen knife at your home. So, chopper looks the same. Chopper looks just like a knife. Chopper was used for breaking nuts and bones. Flakes were used for scrapping meat from animal skin, chopping meat and other foodstuffs. Homo habilis made such tools. Now let us know about Homo erectus. Hand axe and cleaver were made by Homo erectus. They were perfectly made and had a good shape to hold it in the hands. Before making any tool, they visualized it. They think of it, how it will be made. They imagined and then they prepared. For obtaining flakes, Homo erectus used antlers and hammers. This shows that they were using different tools for different tasks. Homo erectus were much better than Homo habilis. In one sentence, if you want to know who were more better, Homo erectus were much better than Homo habilis. Homo erectus started hunting big and small animals. Why? Because of his using tools and making of tools, he started hunting deer, bison, rabbit, etc. Now let us know about Neanderthal man. Neanderthal man made progress in tool making. He began to make smaller tool, small tools for small purpose. Let us know about Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens brought tremendous change in the technique of tool making. He made long and narrow blades of stones. Various implements were made, for example, knife, scrapper, borer, chisel were made from long blades. He also made use of ivory and rare stones of cords to make tools and other articles. Homo sapiens were very intelligent. They were gaining knowledge of the surrounding as well as in tool making technique. So we can say Homo sapiens were much better than Neanderthal man and Homo habilis. Now Homo sapiens began to stay at one place for a longer period of time. Groups of Homo sapiens began to build hut and started living in them. They started celebrating festivals. Many artistic objects and cave paintings were made by Homo sapiens. They started wearing ornaments. Ornaments were made of shells, bones and animal teeth. Thus you can say that we, you, me, we are from Old Stone Age or it can be said as Human culture is from Old Stone Age.
Remains of tools from old stone age had been found in many parts of India, Afghanistan and Sri Lanka. So students, I hope old stone age or, Pali or Paleolithic age is clear to you. So let us move on to the next point. Middle Stone Age explanation. Homo sapiens continued to make progress even in the Middle Stone Age. Let us see how. Due to environmental and climate change, the life of humans began to change. Besides hunting, they began to harvest food grains that grow in the forest, in the wild and started to keep animals, started to keep domestic animals. They started to keep dog at first. They started eating plants. They began to settle at one place for a part of a year. Part of a year means either it can be for 3 months or for 6 months or 9 months like that. Keeping goats and sheep today also began from Middle Stone Age. From the above mentioned fact, you may have now understood that Homo sapiens need different type of tools for different activity, for different task, work. Tools that are durable, that is long lasting tools. Tools that are light in weight. For what purpose Homo sapiens need tools? Hunting, fishing, harvesting, cutting of trees, etc. He made implements like knife and sickle either fixed in a bone or in a piece of wood. Many places of Middle Stone Age have been found in India. So students, I hope Middle Stone Age or Mesolithic Age is clear to you. Let us see the next point. New Stone Age or Neolithic Age. Explanation. In this period, stones were polished to give it a smooth and shining texture. When it was made for the first time, the stones were polished to give it a smooth and shiny texture. A new type of tool making technique was created by Homo sapiens. So this period is known as the new stone age. What it is? A new type of tool making technique was created by Homo sapiens. So this period is known as new stone age. Agriculture and animal husbandry was part of Homo sapiens daily life. Hunting was not the primary source of obtaining food. Many sites of New Stone Age was found in India. So students, I hope this point is clear to you and this chapter also you have understood very well. Thank you.